Today I'm tying my own interpretation of a fly that was extremely popular for decades in Puget Sound and British Columbia, and it's the Lambeth Candlefish, named for Letcher Lambeth, who lived in Seattle most of his life and was a fly fishing author and an expert bamboo rod builder. I hope I've got the pronunciation right. I'm assuming it's like Lambeth in South London. Anyway, this pattern started out in 1936, and Lambeth kept live candlefish in an aquarium, and he dyed polar bear hair till he came up with something that matched the appearance of his live fish. So when it was first introduced, it was tied on big hooks for coho salmon, but it's since been used in smaller versions for sea-run cutthroat. Um, and this is an illustration I borrowed from the Alaska Fly Fishers book, Fly Patterns of Alaska, showing a large Lambeth candlefish dressed for coho and based on an actual fly tied by Lambeth himself. And this second photo appears in Les Johnson's Coastal Cutthroat Trout book and shows his interpretation of the pattern. So there are lots of examples I've found online that all have minor variations in the wing colours, so it's really a matter of personal choice. I've kept the body design of a coho fly and the wing is more or less tied according to Les Johnson. I'm going to tie my fly on uh, Mustad S74 SMP DT size 6, but really any any streamer would do size 6 or 8. And I'm going to start by attaching some white thread. This is 6 or a couple of eyes width behind the uh, eye of the hook. Snip away the excess. I'm going to just quickly wind that back until I'm about level with with the uh, point of the hook. Now for the body I've got this 2mm uh, mylar tubing. Not easy to find, but you can get it on uh, you can get it on eBay. And I'm going to make this uh, about one and a half times the length of the body, going from a point um, where the the head of the fly begins. And the first thing you need to do is just it's a bit tricky, but you need to pull out the central cord out of the middle of the mylar. And now I'm going to fray uh, the mylar tube up to where the point where my thread is hanging down. And the best way to do that is just to use a bodkin or the point of the scissors like I'm doing here. And just gently tease those strands apart. And I need to go a little bit more. That'll do me. Uh, now just carefully thread it onto the hook from the front. And then stroke all those uh, bits of mylar to the back. Now I'm going to wrap my thread around that just to kind of it doesn't really secure it very well but it will stop it um, fraying further up the hook and I'll give that a whip finish and I'm, I'm using white thread just so that it doesn't um, show up too in, in too contrasting away against the uh, the silver mylar. Kind of tricky to get that, but we're good. I'm just going to snip that away. There. That's the body done. Now I'm going to attach some black thread. And again, this should be six aught. Right behind the eye. And 
and then I'm going to use that thread to bind down all of the strands of mylar at the front. Just tidy up the front end. Very good. Now I'm going to take a mixture of white and uh, pale blue bucktail. And I've already um, got a clump of each of those together. And it's kind of difficult to mix colors, but it does help if you stack them, so I'm going to do that. Extract them by the tips. And I want that to extend just a little bit further than the uh, than the mylar tail. Just check how that's lying. That's good. And you'll see this is pretty sparse. I'm going to snip the uh, the butt ends at an angle. And tie all that down. Now I'm going to take some uh, bright red bucktail. And I want just a tiny bit of this. I've got maybe 8 or 10 individual hairs and again I'm going to stack those and I'm going to try and tie those right on top of the blue and white good. Oh, the perils of live video. I've, I've cut my thread. No problem. I'm just going to tie over the top of it. Happens to everybody. Okay, that's good. And then the top of the wing is going to be a mixture of French blue and olive. And I've already I've already got a pinch of those. Stack them again. I hear the wind outside. That's why I'm time flies and not fishing. And I've got um, about the same amount as I had for the white and pale blue. There's a few that I don't want there. nice okay, let's see if I can cut this off without <laughs> without snapping my thread okay I'm just gonna snug all that down now I'm gonna build uh, a thread head
liquid finish. Get rid of that. And you could you could use it like that, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint on some eyes. And before I put any paint on there, I'm just going to get a quick thin coat of uh, UV cure resin there. There we go. I like to use um, acrylic paint pens like this to paint eyes on. They're very convenient. just let that dry. Now I'm coming in with uh, the black pupil. Another paint pen here. It's kind of difficult when these flies are this small. But that will do. I'm going to let that dry again. And to finish it off I'm going to use some uh, some head cement. Now if you really wanted to you could go with the original design and put an, an orange uh, behind the black pupil. It gets a bit finicky though. I've done one there. Up to you. I don't think it really makes any difference. And that is the Lambeth Candlefish. Good luck and thanks for watching. <laughs>